What's up guys, it's Elena from We Learn to Share. First things first, welcome to the very first video of our AP Microeconomics lessons. In this video, we'll talk about the very first unit, which is the basic economic concepts. Now let's jump right into our questions. The first question is very, very simple. It is, what is economics? To the answer to this question, you only need to know about one thing, which is scarcity. Scarcity implies the limited nature of society's resources, and it shows the discrepancy between limited resources and unlimited wants. And this is why you study economics, because economics teaches people how resources should be used, how resources should be allocated, how they should be managed in order to use them to their fullest potential. Next, we're going to compare two things, which is macroeconomics and microeconomics. Macroeconomics is more of a bigger thing, more of a bigger thing, relatively bigger in a sense, as it concerns national economic problems. So when you study macroeconomics, you will study about inflation, unemployment, and economic growth. And on the other hand, microeconomics is relatively smaller in a sense, as it concerns about individual units. When you study microeconomics, you will study about households, firms, how they interact in the market, and learn things like supply and demand. Now, we'll talk about resources. I'll talk about four resources in this slide. First is land. And economics, in economics, land does not literally mean land, like farmland, but it actually includes all natural resources like crude oil, timber sands, water, and sun. The second resource is human efforts and talents, or labor. So it talks about, it includes intellectual capability and athletic abilities. The third resource is capital, and it is the productive equipment or machinery, for example, like tools, buildings, computers, factories, and so on. Last but not least is entrepreneurship, which is the ability and readiness to develop, organize, and run a business enterprise. Now, we're going to talk about opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is something that must be sacrificed in order to obtain something. So it is a, the next best alternative in a value. And this is very ubiquitous in everyday life because opportunity cost exists when you make a decision. So for example, if I spend to study two hours and get something like become smarter and get better grades, something is being sacrificed while I am studying for two hours. For example, it could be something like watching two hours of TV or resting and chilling in bed. Then watching two hours of TV or resting and chilling in bed all of the utility or the satisfaction that I could get from those activities would be my opportunity cost of studying for two hours. Now, let's look at this hypothetical, hypothetical, hypothetical production possibility, sorry. So let's assume economy that produces only two goods, guns and butter. If you look at the chart, you can see that guns increase by three units and butter decreases by five units as it moves point to point. And if you want to calculate the opportunity cost of guns, this is what you're going to do. You calculate the change in a butter production over the change in gun production, which will equal to 5 over 3. And this would be the opportunity cost of guns. Next, if you want to know the opportunity cost of butter, it is very simple. You just need to divide the change in gun production by change in butter production, which would be 3 over 5. Now, if you actually generalize what we just did in the example into a formula, it would be this. If you want to calculate the opportunity cost of good X, you need to get the value of change in good Y production over the change in good X production. This is where I got my template from. And now, you're done. Thank you for watching.